Yeah, good morning. I mean, I would personally stick with sushi versus fish eggs. I just feel like that's kind of a little intense. But uh, shifting gears over to weather right now, our Storm Prediction Center has released our storm outlook for today. So we could definitely see some thunderstorms develop. If you look at your screen right here, the entire borderlands under that general risk of seeing thunderstorms develop. And this is good news because we have not gotten much rain for the month of July. Actually, we haven't really picked up anything at all if you were being honest but also what we're dealing with today as well as an ozone action day what this means is we're dealing with poor air quality out there so those of you who have asthma or any respiratory issues it's best to limit any outdoor activities from now until 8 p.m we have a bunch of stagnant air that's just not pushed on through and like i said we haven't gotten much rain either we've only picked up 0 0.01 inches of rain at the el paso international airport and believe it or not july is one of our wettest months it's the second wettest month out of the year we usually pick up an inch and a half and that means our drought monitor has also updated us and put us in that moderate category you can see El Paso County as well as Hudson and Culverson County places out east dealing with even extreme drought and places out west we're in that dry category but trust me the forecast for the next seven days is going to put this in reverse hopefully so we could see the potential of seeing those thunderstorms develop as we run through our future track model four o'clock you can see some showers start to push into the area waco tanks getting hit around six o'clock some isolated storms near radium springs and las cruces and even into 9 p.m horizon city favin Stranil, watch out you could definitely see some heavy rainfall at time of course this is just one of our future track models that i'm showing you folks expecting what we are expecting for tonight and even through sunday as well the rinse and repeat forecast we have that monsoonal moisture in place which could really flare up some storms and pop off at times pre even producing some heavy rain and even picking up those winds as well even monday morning eight o'clock this one wants to bring in some showers out to west el paso santa teresa anthony even into juarez as well so for today we're in store for another hot day as well 101 is our expected afternoon high 20 percent chance to see those showers and thunderstorms but keep in mind this could be the end of our streak of seeing those triple digit temperatures for the weekend 99 for las cruces throwing that 20 percent chance of storms because as we take a look at the next seven days those temperatures begin to cool down we're tracking the mid 90s by the start of next week with those storm chances in place every afternoon and trust me i've not seen the 90s in a forecast in a very long time hope you enjoy it Cheers.